I know I'm starting very early. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Big Soul. Good morning, Ian. Good morning, Nifty. Brian. Good morning, Shane. Good morning. The truth is, I'm starting early. We will not start the Elite Four until 10. We will start the Elite Four at 10. We give people time to come in. But I need to get so zen. It's not even funny. Good morning, Mint Leaf. Ryan, Nifty. Again, good morning, Princess Glacia. Good morning, Cole. Good morning. Those of you guys that wait, the early bird catches the worm. You know? Lucario, good morning, Swiftic. Uh, Cole, again, good morning. Jay, Adrian, good morning. Good morning. Kyle, Artemis, Colby. Moose Mafia, good morning, Darth. I need the Streets of White Run to just... Dude, honestly, I think... I haven't gotten a massage in years. I think I want to get a massage and ask them if they could just play this song for the full hour. I think that would be the most... They would be so weirded out and be super depressing for them. It would be the most relaxed I think I could ever get. I think. Good morning, King. Escanor, it's a big day. It's a big day on a Thursday afternoon. Honestly, um, I, I can't even I can't even begin to tell you the amount of time I spent prepping yesterday was disgusting. It was disgusting. And I, I, I purposely, I don't have the game up yet. I don't want you guys to see the team yet. I want to wait till 10 o'clock. I want to wait till 10 o'clock. Morning, Cherry. Good morning, good morning. Four hours. You know what? It probably was about four hours. Riley, thing for the three months. Appreciate it. Because I did two before I went to visit my dad. And then I did two at night. So it's probably about four hours. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'll wait till 10 o'clock. We'll get the full, we'll get the full feel. No matter what, the run ends today. Bill Dog, thank you so much for the 10 months. I appreciate that a ton. Riley, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Riley, the nicknames chosen here are completely random on our list of names for people, for supporters that have gifted uh, 10 memberships or more. Started as a meme. It's where we dream now. Um, thank you so much. It's Bonin. Speaking of, for the 10 gifted members, the preemptive Elite Four 10 gifted. Are there any Dodgers? Good morning, Jeremy. Darth Krad, thank you so much for the five gifted as well. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you. Thank you so much. Frog Alex, is your name still on the list? If you haven't seen... Yes, you're still on the list. You have two names on the list, actually. Cole, good morning. Thank you for the six. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even if it was gifted, don't matter. Thank you so much. So I prepped so long and hard. And I don't think... Throw out some, throw out some Pokemon from the run that you think are coming to the Elite Four. Little Crispy, thanks for the eight months. Yo, Wild Spartan, thanks for upgrading to become a platinum plant. Pa, 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 pa. Thank you. What resources did I use to learn the Radical Red? I basically banged my head against the wall over and over again. Honestly. I basically banged my head against the wall over and over again. Uh, I'm sure there's videos on it, but I just learned it by playing it. Delabird, ban that guy. Mandibuzz for sure. So I could be throwing, obviously. I could obviously be throwing. Oh, wait, you guys have me second guessing. No, 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 no. I did four hours of prep. I'm not going back. Kim Lee, thanks for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Got to the E4 with a huge power. Zygarde and still lost. I'm so sorry. Avalug, Gigalith. <laughs> Mandibuzz and Heatram. Oh my gosh. Am I throwing? No, no, no. I did the prep. 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 I treated this like the first time we beat Rad Red. Yo, Shell Racer, thanks for becoming a platinum penguin. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, guys, I did the prep and we need to get lucky. I'm not gonna lie, we need to get lucky. Here's the problem with Gigalith and Avalug. I'm just gonna let you guys know. Here's the problem. Gigalith and Avalug are uh, weak to fighting. There are physical walls that are weak to fighting. And they literally get pushed in by Bruno. No matter what I did in the calcs, they got pushed in by Bruno. And uh, for that reason, they just couldn't come. Because after Bruno, you know, Agatha's very special... Uh, Lance is both physical and special, but I mean, the roar of time is the big problem, right? The jugulus and the primal dialga are very big problems. Avalug, now Avalug is good 
in terms of like, hey, you're gonna Oko, um, actually, you don't Oko Dragonite because of the, the multi-scale, though that's when I was calcing. And after the Intimidate, I don't Oko the Salamence. Now, I do live anyone hit from Men's, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it just gets flushed out by Primal Dialga. No fairy is a problem. No fairy is a huge problem for us. Stumpy, thanks for the nine months, brother. I got a gaggle on Dad's at the gym. Yo! Let's go. Did you really? That's awesome. Definitely, dude. If you can get a picture with everyone, that will be so sick to see on Twitter. That will be so sick. Okay. So. I will tell you guys right now, we are not bringing Gigalith or Avalug. I know. It's just, it's just out. They just, they just had too much trouble, man. They did. Now, Avalug would have been really, really good if we were versing the Coridon champion team. Would have been really, really good. But unfortunately, we're not. We are versing the Maridon team. And because of that, Avalug once again feels really bad. Um, it feels pretty rough. Avalug actually looks really good. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Avalug looks really good. Right? Eternatus, Eveltal, Maridon. Priority for Pheromosa. Oh no. Who would I even remove? I can't. I have to stick to this prep. No, I'm not listening to chat. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not listening to chat. It is just crazy to see that, you know, priority ice shard is really, is really something else. Is really something else. I, I, the problem is that I wouldn't use Avalug against Lorelei. I wouldn't use Avalug against Bruno. I wouldn't use Avalug against Agatha. Yo, QC, thank you for the, for the top super chat of the day. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, I'm sticking to my prep. I'm sticking to my prep. I'll talk Chibi, about it. You prepped. Listen to your brain. Stop listening to your arm. It's itching to throw, and you have to block it out. Stop listening to your arm is the craziest thing Brian has probably ever read. Scarf Crab doesn't outspeed anything, unfortunately, I checked. Here's the other thing about our prep right now, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a stack. There is no way that we make it out of here deathless. I have... I ran, I felt like Sherlock Holmes. I was running so many different scenarios to try to figure out how to do this deathless. And I just couldn't. So I know that we will be losing Pokemon throughout the way, but the but I'll tell you up front, we cannot lose. That's amazing, Hari. Thank you so much for the top super chat of the day. Appreciate that. Morning, dad. Just rewatched the Venomoth sweep. That was hilarious. We, 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 we cannot do this deathless. But we also cannot lose a Pokemon before Lance. If we lose a Pokemon before Lance, I actually think my whole strat crumbles. Yo, Sam, thanks for the now top super chat of the day. Should Pharaoh be banned after No, I don't think so. Or after every radical red victory, one member of the winning team should be retired for future runs. I don't I mean I think that's a cool idea if we were just gonna keep doing normal mode like this. Or we're gonna move on to a soul link after this, uh and when we go back to Rad Red, I think. Shady. Thank Had you, Baltimore. Week and your content has helped. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks. Getting through that battle with Truant Dialga was phenomenal. It really was, but we're about to, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, sorry we've had a crappy week, uh, Baltimore, and hopefully it gets better. Light skin Bob Ross, thanks for the 12 months being a platinum penguin. Thank you. By the power of Bob Ross, I am a year old. Let's go! Is it 10 o'clock yet? Should we start talking about this prep? Oh, man. Yeah, I can't lose Pokemon before Lance. If I lose... Now, the good news is that with my prep, with my prep, we have two sweeps. Yo, Jamie, Jamie, thank you so much for the five gifted members. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you. Are there any Dodgers? Any Dodgers at all? Okay. With our prep, 
we have two sweeps lined up. And I don't think they're who you're expecting. But we have two sweeps lined up. This is the only way I could figure out how to get these sweeps. Because the problem is, is that Bruno, Bruno, Bruno is a hurdle. Getting through Bruno deathless is so hard, but we literally need to do it. We need to do it. We need to get a little lucky, but we need to do it. Yo, Big Soul with the 10 gifted. Thank you so much, Big Soul. I appreciate that a ton. Are there any Dodgers in chat? Any at all? We need to do it. I have no choice but to get through Bruno Deathless. And the problem is that Bruno's two teams are just so hard to cover with the same lead. I have two different strats, but with the same lead. So we're going to see if that works out. Just over here, he playing DB's Xenoverse Yo, 2. Xenoverse 2, just that's crazy. That Thank you for the top, Super Chat. It, Shell Ray, so it's really kind. Um... Shady, good luck for the run Thank today. you, Frosters. Thank you, Suatile. Thank you for, for giving months. me an opportunity to show my nine-month-old daughter Pokemon. Oh, that's DVD. awesome. That's really cool. Sacred, thank you for the 17 months. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. So I have exactly one Pokemon on the layout as of now. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to reload. My control is being silly. Uh, silly, silly, silly. Let me see. Um, okay, give me a second. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Now my music's not working. Mods, mods, mods. What's happening? I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. All right, here we go. We have one Pokemon on the layout for you guys to see. Part of me thinks she Thank you, Daniel. just wants to do the solo soul link to see if it's possible and to show he isn't the one. Yo, Froglex, thank you for the tennis spot. All right, here we go. Well, I kind of spoiled two of them, right? Because Garchomp's following me. I'm not really smart. Okay. So we have Faramosa on the layout. Faramosa absolutely comes to this battle 100% of the time. This, this league is really going to end up being the Faramosa show for the most part. Like Faramosa is so utilized in my calcs against the champion. Um, a little bit against Lance. If we can get a little lucky against the, um, the Dialga, we have to get it below half and then high jump kick will Oko it. I believe my calcs said it did 48%. I could be, hold on, I could be misconstrued. Why don't I, so it's crazy. So I spent so long prepping yesterday and then I turned my computer off, which closed all of my damage calc tabs. And then this morning I had to film an ad read. I had to edit today's video that's going up right after today's stream. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that battle. It was a lot of fun with Dylan, with my fellow dad. Um, let me see, Dialga, Primal. If we are Jolly Faramosa because I have to be and we have Sword of Ruin and we are running Wide Lens, I think high jump kick is 48%. Yep, 48 to 57%. So I was going with the minimum. 48 to 57%. So if we can get, there's a couple couple ways that we can get Dialga down there. And we'll talk about that when we get there. So let's just focus on what we're bringing to the Elite Four today and why. Here's the team. I don't think you guys were expecting this team. And I'm probably selling, we'll see. Donovan Tide! With the 99, 99 super chat, top super chat of the day. When she doesn't get something she's won. That's so she good. Yo, Donovan. Get it. Thank you Wanted so much. Happy, uh, happy early birthday. That's so good. Yo, Fosters, thank you for the five spot. And congratulations to your wife. Too smooth. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Look, some of you guys support me, even though I haven't won yet. And I appreciate that. But this is our team. Let's go over our we, our move sets change between every battle just about. So uh, we'll have to take our time. It's gonna be it's gonna be a stream. It's gonna be a stream. We're gonna be taking our time. I, I should just disable speed up, but I won't. So we have Jolly Expert Belt Psycho Knot for now with Sword of Ruin. Don't worry about the fact that it's Expert Belt. It's not a big deal. It's just there in case we need to click a move. Um, we're running U-turn Protect, Close Combat, and Triple Axle. Now we know we're versing the we are versing Lorelei in the rain today. Okay, so we are running Parental Bond Matthias. We're going adamant because when I'm jolly, I, I, I don't need the jolly when I'm going to be going plus two speed. Okay? Let's get this stuff. Then we have Seed Bomb, Swords Dance, Drain Punch, Trailblaze. This is our Lorelei winner. Okay, turn one, we Trailblaze against Politoed as Psychonaut U-turns and easily destroys the Ogre Pond. Easily, easily, easily. Okay, it's an Oko. I don't think... I think because the AI sees that it can take out my Matthias with Ogre Pond, 
and um, Polito doubling into it, it doesn't switch out. And even if it does, U turn's gonna hurt yes, anyone in the back. Board box will have to do. Okay. You got this. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate that. Don Paper, thanks for the nine months being a platinum penguin. Thank you. Next, we have Jensi. Jensi is also super important because this is the Pokemon we're gonna U turn out into. We have the drought. We're gonna turn the rain off from the Politoed. I am Jolly right now, and that's how I ran all my calcs. Because when I'm when I'm adamant, I get outsped by a couple of key Pokemon if I get into a bad spot. Like Urshifu will then outspeed me. Um, there was another one that outspeeds me only when I'm only when I'm adamant. Which one was it? Uh, the Zoroark outspeeds me when I'm adamant. I shouldn't need it for Zoroark, but I just I'd rather just go Jolly here. I really would. Um, just for safety keepings. But yeah, we're gonna U-turn onto this turn off the sun, which will make the Scald do less into the Zerud, or if it goes for Ice Beam. It is what it is. It might just go for Ice Beam to Zerud, but I'm okay with that because if I go Trailblaze, I have Drain Punch on Zerud that I can use against uh, the Iron Bundle to gain HP back uh, if I need to. So I like that. Uh, and really, for for Lorelei, it should be those three. That should be it. Shady, remember the game we played on Tuesday? Thank you so much, True. Just remember, if you throw, okay. George's interstate system will yep. never financially recover. I'm gonna try not to. Best of luck. So now we have Garchomp. Now Garchomp is an interesting creature. It should not be used in Lorelei's battle, except if we get into a situation where I have to U-turn into a Pokemon, and the U-turn takes out, and it's gonna be two final Pokemon from Lorelei. Then we want to go out into Veil. Um, Mr. Cody, Juan Kenobi, thank you for the six months being a platinum penguin. Thank you. Yo, that's incredible. Your daughter did that. That's so good. I love that. Okay. Um, sorry, Sarah just texted me. So, and the, I, I really, this is only going to be, um, maybe I get, no, I want Rockside for potential flinch chances. If the rain is up from like the primal Kyogre and I get into a really bad spot and I need to flinch, we're going for it. Uh, D back thanks to the five spot. This, morning before we get ready for work this is another option there. late game in really the Lorelei battle. Show him how an expert throws. We're running game, Choice we Scarf. We're running Choice Scarf, and I have Light Screen. And I know that's weird, but if it gets into a spot where Walking Wake starts walking all over my team, setting up the Light Screen is one of the only ways I can stop that from, from sweeping me. So I do have that. Weak armor is risky. I This Pokemon has no other ability. I cannot tell you. If this Pokemon had just about any other non-impactful ability, it would it would be so much more valuable in battles. It would it would make Bruno a cakewalk. It's still used. Um, I think it's used against Bruno, Great Tusk, Bruno too. But if I didn't have weak armor, I could use it all the time. Scarf bulk up. I can't get rid of bulk up because bulk up is not a TM move anymore, and I need bulk up for Bruno. Bulk up's not getting clicked in this battle, but it needs to stay on my move set. Okay. I won't be scarfed in the Bruno battle. Uh, then we have uh, Heatran with lefties for now. Heatran should not see the light of day until, literally until uh, Lance. I'm pretty sure we, uh, there's a chance we use it against Agatha actually. There's a small chance we use it against Agatha or there's a small chance we use it against Bruno actually, but I don't want to use it against Bruno. Um, however, anyway, uh, this is this really is just going to be for Lance. So Eruption kind of just sits in the back. It's weird because Eruption has no ability to increase its special attack. So even though it has Parental Bomb, which is really strong, it, because it doesn't get like Nasty Plot or or um, Mist anything to increase its special attack, it's not it's not that crazy, unfortunately. Um, it is what it is. That is our team. That's our team for the Elite Four. Now, when I tell you, I literally did this like the first time we we got to the Elite Four in Rad Red or the first time we beat it. I don't know which one it was. But I have a notepad full of what I need to do between battles. I have a notepad. Now, I do want to give some 07s in chat. 07s to Mandibuzz. Let's look at our box real quick and see what I'm not bringing. Septile was really close to coming um, because its speed tier is out of control. Unfortunately, because of how frail it was and how much priority there is in some of the battles, um, it doesn't sweep against the... Agatha 1 team because of Chen Pao with Ice Shard, so I had to 07 it. Uh, Koma O, a similar fate. Uh, it was, it was, it had a chance. Uh, it does do well against Bruno 1, but Bruno 2, it's not the biggest fan of uh, because I lose, uh, I I just, it doesn't, it's not, it's not, it's not the biggest fan. It does, it does okay, actually. Um, there was another reason why I didn't bring it, but I had to leave it behind. Uh, the other one I definitely want to 07 is Cardinal because Cardinal carried us through this run so bad. And uh, Knights of Blood, thanks for the 10 months, appreciate it. And the fact that you're not coming is truly a dagger. 
but um, it, it, it just she just doesn't she doesn't do enough. Uh, we don't really care about like if it was the hail team, maybe I would have brought Mana Buzz, which is weird. Uh, and then of course we cannot forget 07s for Gigalith, who was instrumental in getting through so so many battles, so many battles. Once again, unfortunately, because you are weak to fighting, and Bruno has a lot of setup moves like Sword Stance, Stacey, and Crowned with Behemoth Blade, um, I, I just couldn't bring you, man. I'm really sorry about it, but I could not bring you. Why is Liquid League not coming? Ban that guy. Another special shout out to Slowbro. Slowbro really did a ton in this one, and I'm gonna miss Sean the Raging Bull. Uh, Reggie Gigas, I tried to cal for Reggie Gigas coming, and honestly, Without a broken ability, I know this is a crazy state. will cover you from the inevitable tears without long neck? It, it, Reggie just doesn't do enough. Until, if you get Lance 2, Reggie has a great time. But we can't guarantee that we get Lance 2. Why is a root over Mega Sceptile? So, the thing with Mega Sceptile is that Mega Sceptile can go to plus one. I mean, the TLDR is that Mega Sceptile is times four weak to ice. That's the TLDR. Uh, Mega Sceptile cannot sweep Lorelei safely. And Zarude in my calcs, can. So, uh, I don't think we'll need them, but just in case, let's grab all the items from the PC. Slowbro has also done so much, you're not wrong. I do, I am gonna miss Slowbro. I would've, Slowbro would've, if Slow, oh, this is gonna be toxic to say. If Slowbro was a slow king, it would be coming to the Elite Four. And I know that's toxic to say, but it's the truth. It just is. Yo, Nick, thank you for the nine months of being a platinum penguin. Giggle's purpose was always the meme battle, the highest honor. That's kind of facts. I do not need all these lefties, but it feels right to, to strip them from these Pokemon, you know? Okay. Uh, thank Good you so much, Lil Crispy. I really appreciate it. Got ahead to work. All right, this is it. Will pay off. I need water. I'm already system. dehydrated. I'm already dehydrated, man. Septile does have Shed Tail, yes. It doesn't help him sweep Lorelei, though. Thank you for your help. We just gotta stick with this prep. I have my moves planned out. We just gotta go with it. Chi Yu, unfortunately, just... It's... Dark typing is really tough. Outside of, uh... Like, because I have Zerud, right? And I need Zerud to sweep. Doubling up on Dark typing feels really bad in the Elite Four. It does. Tyrannosaur, thanks for the five months. Appreciate it. Do I have my Assault Vest in my bag? I do. Do I have my Focus Sash in my bag? Those are two things I need later, I think. I know I need a Salt Vest. Uh, Focus Sash. Focus Sash is right there. Okay, good. Let's save again. All right. Here it is. Uh, everyone, one last time for this run. Probably not the last time. But drop your sevens. Pre-battle sevens. Oh, I have goosebumps. Oh, my stomach's in my stomach. Okay, yeah, we trailblaze turn one. It's fine. So Lorelei was the easiest to prep for. Oh, that's gonna be never mind. That's egg in my that's egg in my face. Forget it. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay. I don't wanna say that because like I'll talk about it after. Okay. Sort of ruin. Ogre Pond does not stand a chance. And anything that switches in is not great. So Politoed sets the rain. And I'm going to U-turn on the Ogre Pond. And I'm going to Trailblaze. Now Trailblaze will not take out the Politoed, and that is very important. We want to leave the Politoed alive so that we can manipulate the AI with Drought. Gone. Ogre Pond, what new DLC? What DLC? Alright, and we go on into DNC. We drought it out. I get an experience point. I'm popping. I'm popping. Trailblaze. It should do like 50%. That's more than 50%. But the parental bomb won't take you out, right? No C word. Oh, I'm so lucky I got the crit on the second hit. Oh, I think I think we literally would have lost if, if the crit was first. I forgot to tell you guys. I, I, I got crit. The burn. But I packed the Rossberry. Some of you guys saw it, but I was trying to hide it. Uh, I did pack the Rossberry for the burn. Okay, so here's what we do. Iron Bundle comes out. So I am 
going to hard swap. So Poly, because the sun is up, Politoed always goes for Rain Dance. So I'm going to hard swap into Psychonaut here. And then I'm going to, I haven't SD'd yet, right? I haven't. Oh, man. Um, let me just set up a Zerud Cal. I, ha I have to target down. No, I have to target down the bundle no matter what. I'll set up a Zerud count. No, I have to wait because I have to be able to watch. Zerud, why did I turn my computer off last night? It was literally the silliest thing in the world. Iron bundle. Okay. Seed bomb. I'm adamant. Parental. Parental bond. All right, I take you out with seed bomb. That's what I got to go for. Because he has a focus dash. Doesn't matter. We're going to hit twice. So we're going to swap out Jancy. Psychonaut comes back in. Sword of Ruin activates. Oh, yeah. Sword of Ruin activates. That's what it was. So Seed Bomb automatically Okos. Like, it brings you to Sash when it normally wouldn't have. But the Brental Bomb was still important because it does make us able to break through that Focus Sash. This should be Rain Dance here. Rain Dance. Okay, that's... So, so we can keep the Toad alive and just lock him into that. But here's the only problem with that right now. If he gets another burn on Matthias, we probably lose. There's Walk and Wake. Walk and Wake. Now, for this, defense is down. We go U-turn. We go Seed Bomb. We focus on Walk and Wake. Because the Politoed should go for Scald, no matter what. Is U-turn enough? Am I calc- It was! Okay. Okay. We go out into GNC again to set up the sun. Just to reduce the skull damage. Scald. Don't get unlucky. Don't get unlucky. Oh, that might be the one. No. Oh no, that really could be the run. I re I really I didn't plan on double burn, man. I don't know. I can't really add sort of ruin. I can't add sort of ruin to the calc. There's a chance that swapping out. <sighs> oh no, this is gonna hurt so bad. I did four hours of prep to get double burned. No, it's not a minus one defense. Sort of Ruin makes it 25%. If my brain was smart enough, I could just see like the 78%. Oh, let me see. How much is Sword of Ruin? So Sword of Ruin on Zerud makes it 83 through 99% when I'm burned. So my gut says that I, I mean, it's the only way I win anyway, so I have to go for it. The, the, I, I can't calc it. Without parental bond, I do 83 to 99%. There's absolutely a chance that this thing survives. But we'll see. Come on. Come on. You got the little burn. Just give me the crit so I can go to bed happy. Please. Rain dance, which is fine, but we're not out of the woods. We're literally, we're still inside of the woods because who's left? It's stupid walking wake. Oh no, it's Kyogre. That's even worse. All right. Kyogre. 
And I can't turn off this rain. This rain is permanent. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Kyogre. I gotta take my time. I've never. I, I did not count this situation even a little bit. All right. Seed bomb does just nothing. Seed bomb does fifty percent to this thing. How much does U turn do from Faramosa? Oh, it's so close. Forty-four through fifty-two. And then Seed Bomb, sort of ruin will be gone. Seed Bomb does 46 through 55. So we need two average rolls. I can't hide Jump Kick because I'm running Expert Belt. Let me see, let me see. Because I could, I could CC. Let's see how much Politoed does. Oh, Scald Oko's me. I can't, I can't, if we lose Faramos, we lose the run, so I can't risk that. I think we just have to double into you and just get lucky, man. We just have to get lucky. The, the double burn. If this is how we go to, I mean, because if Matthias goes down, I can't beat the Metagross. I literally can't beat the Metagross. But I guess if I lose the double burn, then I just have to get good. Any crits? Oh, that's enough damage. Oh, that's... That's so much damage! All right. There is no rain right now. But I set up the sun because the Scald should go into the Feramosa slot. Jensi can eat a Scald right now. And then I said the sun for the, for the squall eating. Yo, Lorelai, you can double burn these nuts. That's crazy that we had to go through. Like, it only fired two. It got two for two. Two for two scald burns, and it just didn't matter. It just did not matter. See, and that's what I was going to say is that Lorelai was the easiest to prep for because she has one team. Because she has one team. So she was super easy to prep for because of that. Michael, sorry. Yes, it's pronounced Michael. Sorry. <laughs> All right. GG to Lorelei. We have we have changes we need to make. I got to pull. Up, I have to pull up my notepad. I, I put it all on my ability notepad. All the notes. Okay. So for Br yo Bacon Jake with the five gifted. Thank you so much, Bacon Jake. Are there any Dodgers? Okay. So here's the strat. Zarud needs to go to Drizzle. We're done with Parental Bond for the rest of the run. We go Drizzle Damp Rock. I think you guys see where this is going. I can't use the Damp Rock. Let me use it, dude. I just want to sniff it. So the Damp Rock goes on Zarud. And the Mental Herb goes on Garchomp. Because, so let me, I'll show you guys Bruno's team real quick. This is the plan. Bruno has two teams. I'll go over each one. Now, if we see Infernape, we are, we are so happy about that. We are so happy about that because turn one, thankfully Infernape can't actually Oko Matthias. He's got enough natural bulk where the close combat doesn't take me out. Um, we're gonna lead Matthias and set the rain up. If we see the Infernape team, which is what we want, because it's way more assured, I think, uh, from my calcs. I think I need U-turn on you, though, over Swords Dance, because if, it, if it's if it's Inferni, I, I, I can't run Swords Dance. So we're done sweeping with this Pokemon. We're done sweeping with Zerud, so we're going to go U-turn, which I think is down a ways. Where are you, U-turn? There it is. Okay. So as long as we don't have a move that is tauntable on our lead, Infernape will not taunt. It will go for Stealth Rock. Because nothing, SD is not a relearn move. I'm just done with it. I'm done with it for the rest of the, the rest of the Elite Four. 
for my calcs anyway. Um, I guess, yeah, no, I needed to get rid of it. I needed it. Hooded Walrus, thanks for becoming a member. So Infernape will Stealth Rock. We will U-turn out into Veil, vale, at which point the rain will be out and Veil vale will be able to click Swords Dance, Swords Dance, and just click Earthquake six times or five times. I think it's six times. I think, I think that Veil vale takes out everyone. So we're gonna put you in slot number two. Garchomp has the mental herb, that's all it needs. Can't watch live due to work, but wanted to send some love. Oh, thank you, Bidoof, I appreciate that. Shady. So we don't want Choice Scarf on Zapdos anymore because that's Bruno one, Garchomp takes care of the team. Right, Garchomp just takes care of it. Uh, Bruno two. Bruno two. We U-turn again to break the sash on the Stealth Rock out into Zod. Now Zod is a little bit dicey, right? It's a little bit dice, dice and nice. We do go with the lefties. It doesn't matter what item we hold. We just want an item that Great Tusk will knock off, right? That's all we want. Cole, thanks for the two spot. Hyrus and Dig with the two spot, appreciate it. So, uh, Zapdos is the sweep for the other team. Uh, unfortunately, we never get stronger, but the bulk up is supposed to counteract the weak armor. If we didn't have weak armor, we would literally be fine. Um, we don't go light screen anymore though, um, but I don't run protect either. I guess it doesn't matter what I have on here in that last slot, right? Cause my, my, cap, my, my notes are just that I swap in, I bulk up four times against the Great Tusk. I need to dodge C words. And then we dual wing beat everything until Zacian. Then we close combat. Oh, iron, we do need protect. We do need protect. We need protect. We need protect for the Iron Hands fake out. We need protect. Okay. Roost against the Great Tusk. No, you don't roost against the Great Tusk because it only goes for close combat against you and then you lose your flying resistance. But thank you for your L. There's no opportunity to roost in this battle. Trust me, I calced it. I tried. I tried. When you lose flying type, uh, close combat just does so much because you're not actually gaining defense. Wait, what prevents Taunt, Encore, and Torment? Oh, Mental Herb. Herb's your mental. Yeah, that's what I'm running. Okay. Well, no, we don't. We, that's what we have for Garchomp. Okay. And then I think I needed to put a Choppa Berry on Treads because there is there is a scenario in my Calking where things go wrong. We really need them not to. But there is a scenario shitty where things go work, wrong. But at least there's a shady stream. Waka uh, Waka Kek. Waka Waka Kek. Rocks will be up so we don't run Focus Sash. Uh, we do just grab the Wide Lens now, though. I think... No, I think we're supposed to keep the Expert Belt and then just CC, um... Yeah, it's just if we need to CC the Lucario, right? Yeah. It's just if we need to CC the Lucario. I do wonder if a Vacuum Wave does enough to Lucario to Oko it. Because I know you learned Vacuum Wave. I'm going to calc that really quick. I don't think it does. Because I'm, you know, I'm negative special attack nature. Lucario, Mega. Yeah, it does 51%. That's not enough. We just got to close combat it. Okay. So, let's just make sure we did everything. Uh, Zerud has Drizzle and Damp Rock. Damp Rock, Drizzle. Good. Uh, Swords Dance turn to U-Turn. Great. Garchomp has the Mental Herb. We're basically going to be Earthquaking everything. Awesome. Zod is going to bulk up in front of the Great Tusk. The Great Tusk should go Stealth Rock, then Knock Off. Then close combat, close combat, close combat as I bulk up four times. Um, and that's all I can do. Literally, if this thing had Sticky Hold instead, this would be so easy. I would literally rather have Sticky Hold on Zod right now. I really would. Uh, and that should be it. It really should just be up to these three. Um, eruption. Just in case things get dicey, I will also throw a Chopple on you. In case you're needed for the Lucario. There's a chance that happens. <sighs> All right. Now, like I said, if we see the Infernate team, it should be good. I'm already healed. Lorelei healed me very graciously. 
What item on Zod? Zod currently has leftovers. It's gonna get knocked off. It doesn't really matter what it is. Do you lead, need to lead Zod? No, I do not need to lead Zod. We wanna see Inferni for an easier time. We wanna see Inferni for an easier time. Oh, I gotta go big screen, my bad. <sighs> Matthias, thank you for the 10 months. You made it to the Elite Four. <sighs> okay. Yes! Okay, that I like a lot. Whoa! Yo, that's the blue flame. That's crazy. Oh, and my heart just sank that I, like, I thought I wasn't supposed to be busy. All right, will you turn? As you stealth rock. It's going to allow us to break the sash. Thank you, Camille. Appreciate the four months. We go out into Vale. Yo, Brendan Yi with the five gifted mid battle. Thank you so much to celebrate the Infernape. Are there any Dodgers? We SD and we're faster. You taunt, but I have the mental. So because I have the mental, it burns it. I don't fall for the taunt. And then I actually get to Swords Dance again because Infernape is going to go for another taunt. Okay. Easy. EQ. Now, in my calcs, it's just EQ all, through, all the way through. Oh, no. I just realized something. Oh, he doesn't have iron hands on this team. That's why. Oh! I was like, oh, my gosh. If he just goes in, the, if he just starts stalling the rain with fake out, I lose. What is the move taunt to? So, so taunt... For lossless. And it'll do a 20 gifted. Brick, I can't. I know I can't. I mean, to be, uh, we'd have to get so lucky. I shouldn't say I can't. But we'd have to get really, really lucky. I just don't see, I don't see it happening. In my calcs, like, against the champion battle, our soldiers are going down. Um, so taunt allows you to uh, stop someone from using, like, stat, like, non-attacking moves, basically. Uh, we should be able to EQ, wait, but EQ or Dragon Claw. Wait, do you have a Haban Berry? No, you have Throat Sprite. Dragon Claw is always stronger. Prevents all status moves. Yes. So, like, Will O Wisp, um, Swords Dance, any non attacking move, any status changing move. Okay. My taunt wore off. But I can't afford to um, SD again. There's no reason to. The rain is still up, yeah? Okay, Rain is still up. Go to EQ. Alright, I do gotta get a, a Garchomp calc up for the end game, because I don't think I calc at being less than full HP, which is actually making me nervous, because the Rain runs out after this turn, I believe. So, we EQ, we're still faster. Oh, this is working out so smooth. It's just Lucario now. It's Lucario Bruno 1. So this is special Lucario, right? No, this is physical Lucario. Physical Lucario. Uh, against Chomp. I'm at 285. So, Cause I'm no longer faster, right? I'm no longer faster. So, Because at one point in my calc, obviously not enough motivation. No. Beat him lossless, and I'll do fifty fifty. Frick! You got this shady. Frick, thank you for the five spot. I'm gonna try my best, but I mean, I want to win the run more than I want to be deathless. I, I prepped too long for this. Um, so Lucario's faster and goes close combat every time. This is what my couch said to do. This turn is so important. I don't want to vocalize why. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, easy, Bruno. is so easy, dude. If it crit me, obviously I die. 
if it crits me, obviously I die. And I just like, I, I, I just felt in my bones not to talk about it. I didn't want to speak of that kind of black magic, didn't want it. So I didn't do it. Oh man. Okay. So far the, the prep is, is, is paying off. Let's save our game. And let's set up for Agatha. Agatha, we need to change our chomp. Now here's the thing about Agatha, chomp shines again. It is a, it is a Chompington show. It is a Yo Bacon Jake with the five gifted. You. Thank you so much, Bacon Jake. Five on top of five, that makes 10. You're on the list again. Are there any Dodgers? Hashtag bars. Garchomp needs crunch for this fight. Over Rock Slide. Garchomp needs Dual Chomp over Dragon Claw. That's for the Marshadow. Okay. Uh, Iron Treads needs Assault Vest for this fight, just in case things get hairy. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't. If you beat this game <laughs> Dylan! Me, You're supposed to cheer for me! Tears. Anyways, look at that sexy dad merch. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Dadsbeandudes.com. Brian won't read that, but I'll read it. Dadsbeandudes.com, baby. Get yours today. Yo, wouldn't it be crazy if, like, I win this? So, I guess, it, like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, I'm never I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to see if Dylan realizes. All right, we have... Okay, we just needed... We needed Assault Vest, which means I can't use Protect anymore. In this fight against Agatha, are there anything... Yo, Lums, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate that. Are there any other moves that would be super good for me? Those are two TMs that I can delete. Um, I can't really rapid spin against any ghost types, so that's fine. Uh, I can go knock feel Pluto. Thanks for the 10 months. Appreciate it. We're going to get knockoff on there, because why not? It's a ghost type team. Right? And then... <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to wait till I win or lose, Dylan. Dylan with the 20 gifted members. Claps and chat for Dylan. Go to dadsbeingdudes.com and check out thank the merch or else. Thank you so much, my son. Nights, thank you for the five spot. Appreciate it a ton. Shave your hey, don't forget. There's the, there it is. Yep, and there's the 10 gifted from Dylan. On the list three times. Who's really winning here? Thank you so much. Dylan, for the 30 gifted, um, we will continue recording today. Uh, quick look behind the scenes. Um, are there any Dodgers? Please don't forget to thank your gifter, by the way, in Dylan. And there he is at the last five. Okay, I didn't even, yep, you're right. You are correct, actually. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> imagine, yo, Dylan, imagine if, like, I lost and you just started gifting me subs, though. That would have been comedy. Look at the pity you're taking on your father. No, but I appreciate it. I know you got stuff to do. Um, we're 1230 today, right? I'm pretty sure. That's what you said. Uh, Yo, brick! What the heck? I didn't do it, Deathless! Brick with the ginormous 50 bomb to literally one up my child. He literally doubled you. He literally doubled you, Dylan. Yo, Brick, thank you so much for your support. That is way too kind, way too generous. Thank you so much. Um, are there any Dodgers? Any Dodgers at all? All right, I'm forgetting what I'm doing though now, and I also have to pee. So, assault vest. We don't need protect. We go knock off. Is there anything else I would run? I no. There, I'm never gonna rapid spin. Bad tantrum. No, I don't. I guess maybe I go rock slide. Oh wait, do I learn volt switch? Oh, you do learn volt switch. Yeah, you take volt switch every time. Every time. Every every time. Yo, DBZ Gaming, thank you so much for the five spot. Corey, thanks for the five spot. My son is home. Oh, I'm sorry, Corey. Hope he feels better. Let's go. And wanted to watch his favorite streamer Call me front. Yo, Brick, I'm telling you. He says good luck. I'm telling you, it's not. It's not looking too hot. Okay, so let me explain this. The unbearded one. Let's go, Dylan. I love to hear that. King of kindness, thank you for the ten gifted. That's a lot of pressure for me to win now. That's a lot of pressure. Okay, guys, I have to actually win the run. Can we? Can we let me focus up for a little bit? I really appreciate the support. I do. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Thank you, Patrick, for the 10. But guys, there's a lot on the line here. I spent four hours prepping last night. Okay. So here, I want to explain what we do for Agatha. So it's it's very similar to the Infernape. All right. Bye, Dylan. Enjoy your work. 
It's very similar to the Infernape. We lead with Matthias, who lives any one hit from either Zorark, even a crit, and uh, we U-turn. That sound you hear is the Mando. And then we just go out into Veil, and we SD twice. Now, the only problem with Veil in this fight is that if we if we face if we face original Zorark, Chin Pao Ice Shard destroys my chin, obviously. But it's still what we do. It's still how we can get the most kills. Then against the Chien Pao, we actually go out into Psychonaut. Because I'm pretty sure it does like 30-ish percent. Yo, Matt, thanks for the nine months. Ice Shard does 36 to 43 percent. So never two shots. So we go out into Psychonaut on that. Actually. Let me see without Expert Belt, because maybe I go Leftovers. Um, without Expert Belt, U-Turn does not KO. Okay, so we have to keep the Expert Belt. I knew there was a reason why we kept it on this whole time. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, here's the thing, guys. Uh, we also do have to get a little lucky here. So, Flutter Main is faster than Garchomp. Just as a heads up. Fluttermane is faster than Garchomp. Yeah. But Moonblast does not take us out from full. Yes, in the rain, he's still faster, guys. Uh, Patrick! Left. Need to show him how not to throw Stop. on JK. Thank you for the... That's super generous for the 24. So, uh, if I was Jolly, I would be faster, but then I miss out on a couple of uh, key KOs even at plus four, like the, I'm pretty sure it was the Zacian I don't take out. Let me see, Zacian, Crowned, Earthquake. Oh no, I do, maybe I could have. No, I need to be Jolly for, um, yeah, I need to be Jolly for the later fight, it's fine. It doesn't matter, I can't change it now. Jolly, oh no, I'm Adamant, Adamant, Swift Swim. Uh, the the Fluttermane is gonna have the booster energy. Protosynthesis is happening. Ice Beast! I don't know why I did that, Vegeta. I'm sorry. Thank you for the giant $50 super chat. That is very, very generous of you. Yeah, he's not level 83. I know it's level 85. Um, I did my counts last night correctly. Wait, where are we? Um, Flutter main. 85. So yeah, this is what I was this is what I was worried about. Moonblast has a chance to Ocon. But it, it it just is what it is, honestly. Um, it just is what it is. Man, I think jo maybe maybe I could have done Jolly Chomp. Sorry. It's too late now. It's a very small chance. It's a very small chance. Before I do this battle, I'm going to pee so I can have maximum focus, guys. I'm going to pee for maximum focus. Everyone say maximum while I'm gone. I cannot make magic come out of a wooden stick. Well... My wife might say differently, but get charged. Okay, here we go. Here. Rune fragment. Get your popcorn <clears throat> ready, boys. This is gonna be a Okay, it's Monday morning. I shouldn't be this unhinged. I should not. I mean, I like to shop at H and M. Is that a guilty pleasure? I don't know. No para. No full para. Like the stream, Dad's been dude's doctor. Did go for C Flare. I hope I live. No. <sighs> My good. <gasps> no! Shut your mouth. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. What? What did you? What are you doing? What are you doing, opponent? No, don't turn around, you silly little badger. Oh my gosh, can I break the bridge? I think I'm stuck in it, bro. I actually think I'm gonna break the bridge. All right, I'm gonna dismount because opponent is. <laughs> All right, keep going. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right, guys. Keep it. I'm oh, sorry. Shady. <laughs> oh baby, don't burn me. Don't burn me. What is love? Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> I quit blind battles. I'm bald. I'm stuck in Sailor Moon outfit. I'm done. I'm done. I quit. I'm Can done. someone clip that I last part? I'm gonna die. To, someone's gonna die. Yeah, I really want to send it to my this friends. Is, Look at his boxers. All right. Let's focus up. Stop looking at Drew. All right, did all the things I need to do. Uh, remember, ideally, we see Hisuian Zorork. We see Hisuian Zorork super fortunate. Super, super fortunate. Nope, we have to run the Mental Herb on the Garchomp or the whole strat doesn't work. We just have to get lucky against the Fluttermane if we verse that team. If we don't verse that team, it's an auto win. Let's make sure we have Crunch, Dual Chop, and Earthquake. Okay. Auto win, auto win, auto win, Hisuian Zork. Auto win, Hisuian Zork. Eddie, think for the 10 months. Come on. Everyone think about Hisuian. Oh, White Zorork, White Zorork with the red tips. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's all we needed. Oh, no, it's Gengar. No, it's not. Okay. Please be Hisuian. We'll know as soon as it uses a move. That's Hisuian. I think we're good. I, I I genuinely think we're good. Inverted exclamation mark, 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 inverted exclamation mark. We don't want the golden to go to swap in with the air balloon. We crit. I'm just lucky. Did you not see the Lorelei fight? It's crazy. This is fortunate though. Golden go, we crunch again. You have an air balloon. Don't fall for it, Shady. Don't fall for the EQ. I met you wife the other day. Thank you, Evil Jenkins. She's one shady lady. Appreciate that. You guys can drop spoons. That's understandable. Sure, that's fine. Spoon is different than luck, you know. All right, Marsh Shadow. That's why we run the dual chop. Because it has the focus dash. So far, this C4 has been a massive up W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W I'm getting toppled. I'm getting toppled. Good luck. Thank you. We dual chop here. Buy your tickets up front, Mando tickets. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We're popping. We're popping. Chi U E Q. Hashtag bars. Needs of ruin. I'm gonna ruin your day. E Q. Hey, Relia, good good morning. We're we're doing well. We're in the Elite Four and we're focused, so sorry. Patters! Yeah, Swift Swim Chomp goes hard. Thank you, Squared, for the five spot. The rain has stopped, but Gengar here. does not Oko. On the off chance, it stays non mega We go dual chop. And Agatha is cooked. But we are we are at the hardest part of the run now. We are at the hardest part of the run. Easy. Literally cannot believe how much this prep has paid off. Now, Lance is literally the hardest part of the run. Because we do we we found zero fairy types during this run. Zero Sahil, thanks for the nine months. Appreciate it a ton. Let's go, Sahil. <sighs> Samurai Tunes for the five spot. No fairy types Wee. and no blissy. Wee. No Wee. chancy. Wee. This Thank is you. the throwing police. Stop. Come out with your hands up. Stop. Actually, wait, don't I don't want you to pull a muscle. Thank you. All right, so first things first. Yo, Bacon Jake with the five gifted. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Okay. So. Here's the thing. Lance's teams are ridiculous. And we're gonna lead Feromosa regardless because whether it's an Aerodactyl or a Garchomp lead, I triple Axel. So we go wide lens on the Feromosa over the Expert Belt. All right. Now we get rid of close combat for high jump kick. All right, easy. Kudo, thank you for the three months. Appreciate that. I believe we keep U-turn. I don't think I need protect. I have a question. What does me first copy? Can I me first Roar of Time the Primal Dialga? I shouldn't mess with black magic, but that seems so good. Oh, I I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Google. What does me first do in Pokemon? If the opponent is readying a direct attack, the user of me first will try to copy it and attack with 50% more power. The move only works if the user is faster than the opponent. Roar of Time never recharges, guys. Roar Just of Time never reminder, recharges? Deathless is I'm way 50, faster than Dialga, and it'll swap him out! Now and listen in the background. You got this man. It could swap him out! It could bug, to be fair. It doesn't matter how much it does because it forces him out. All right, we're gonna call this now. If that is buggy, I am not counting it. I'm just gonna let you know. If it's a bug, I'm not counting it. Okay. I'm just putting me first there in case we get Roar of Time out. Now, to be fair though, if, I, if it's in high jump kick range, it's gonna go for rest. I'm pretty sure, so we wouldn't even use uh, me first. Yes, Faramosa learns uh, Aura Sphere, but it does not uh, sweep, unfortunately, because it's too frail. And the Garchomp roars it out after one Quiver Dance, uh, and you have to take a ton of damage from the rough skin, and the Aerodactyl goes for Taunt once. Yeah, but Triple Axel is not, um, Triple Axel is not special, right? The end, you'd have to get the plus two in order to one-shot the Mel Metal because of the Assault Vest and because I'm adamant. Yes, it does learn Ice Beam. Ice Beam would take out Salamence and Ice Beam would take out Jugulus, um, but it would not take out Dragonite. So I think special could work It could if we, if we were modest, but if we were modest, we wouldn't have getting those U-turn KOs. Are you sure me first works in negative priority moves? I'm not, not at all. The other thing is that um, I'm pretty sure Aerodactyl will see the KO with Stone Edge. So you can't actually like set up for free in front of it. Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl. Not Claire, Lance. Yo, Zolo, thanks for the four months. Aerodactyl does not see the Oko with Stone Edge. Wow, so you could quiver, quiver. Yeah, but then you're not mental Irving like Glory. I don't think you're thinking all the way through. You could quiver, quiver. You're losing that sort of ruin. Oh no, wait. Yeah, you're losing that sort of ruin damage though, right? Let's see how much Aura Sphere does. Um, Triple Axle. If you have to triple axle and ice beam. 
Um, plus two, plus two. And then you don't have room for me first. You go here, me first. I'm just more interested in this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna actually um, do this. I'm just really interested. So triple axle will still take you out. Mental herb, da da da. Now let's check out Mel Metal. Ooh, that does take out. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, see look, so here's the thing. If me first works, then this does sweep. Oh, that's so tempting. Oh, there's no room for Corvidance right now. Maybe we never go Ice Beam. All right, what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna do it. Mm. Extra belt is also still on and it would need to be mental herb. That's true. Trust the prep. Yeah. You've been 100 so far. That's true. That's true. Ooh, I'm so interested though. I'm so interested. Maybe we'll rush back here after we win. No, I don't think I will. No, I don't think I will. Make a save state. Hold on. Uh, save state. Um, let's call this. Um, oh, do I have to actually name it? I think I have to name it. Like, no, I can name it whatever I want. Test special Feromosa. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, now I'm like really lost though. What did I even do yet so far? So wide lens. Oh yeah, we wouldn't be able to go triple axle without the wide lens. I would never do that. And I would never, yeah, I don't think I would do that anyway. I don't think I would. And you have to get the plus two to KO the, yeah, I would never, well, you know what? It would go taunt, taunt, stealth rock probably. The Aerodactyl, to be fair. It would go taunt, taunt, stealth rock. So we could go quiver dance, quiver dance, ice beam, ice beam. That kind of works. Okay, anyway. Heatran needs Earth Power over Flash Cannon for this fight. Earth Power is a TM somewhere. Axel 2 won't Oko against the um, Salamence when it intimidates me, so. All right, Earth Power over Flash Cannon. Um, did I make you have a high jump kick yet? Okay, high jump kick me first, you turn triple axle. That's fine. Uh, Garchomp needs rock slide over crunch. That's for the Eveltal. All right, and just as a heads up, wait, that's not, this isn't the Eveltal fight. Let's see, my, my brain is blurring. All right, well, we don't need crunch for this fight against anything. There's nothing that is weak to dark. This is good against the Jugulus if we need to. Right? Yeah. For sure. <sighs> um, we have high jump kick on Feromosa. Iron Treads needs leftovers and protect again instead of the assault vest. It's very important. Leftovers. And protect is up here. Uh, we would get rid of... I get rid of knockoff for this fight. Okay. Ooh. We need E... We don't need crunch for this fight. Okay, rock slide, EQ. I don't think I'm actually gonna be swords dancing here. Uh, Garchomp needs Rock Side. Zapdos needs... I don't want to get rid of Bulk Up. Did I really get rid of Bulk Up in my Calx? I guess I'm never, I'm never really clicking Bulk Up against anything. Because the dual wing beat's too strong. Yeah. All right, we do get rid of Bulk Up now. 
All right, bulk up's gone. And we go light screen. We run the light screen just in case. No, you can't do ban Zapdos here now. Um, we run the light screen over bulk up just in case. I'm gonna get rid of dueling beat. I'm actually gonna get rid of dueling beat. I'm scared to get rid of bulk up. I'm not clicking, I'm not clicking dual wing beat. I am against Dragonite and Salamence, actually. If I ever get to that spot. All right, and then I also want Thunderous Kick because in my calcs, uh, there's a chance that we need to just lower the defense of the Primal Dialga. And low, like lower the defense. And that's what we might need to do. And then I'm not gonna be clicking Protect, so we're gonna run U-Turn over Protect. We're gonna end up probably. <sighs> um, why not Thunder on Zapdos? I'm not Electric type. Um, sure, they all I got for you. I'm not a special attacker. Okay. And then Zapdos has leftovers, so it needs Light Screen, Thunderous Kick, and leftovers. Good. Do I need leftovers? I really don't need leftovers. I'm always... I actually think I want to be... Do I want to be Focus Ash? No, I do want to be leftovers. You know what? I do need Protect on this. I do need Protect on this. I almost sold. I don't run U-Turn. You run Protect to stall out the PP of the, of the Dragon Roar. Of the Roar of Time. So I do actually run Protect. Who else doesn't have Protect right now? Do I have room on people for Protect? Do I- I do need Dual Chop. I can't get rid of SD. I need SD for their Holy Elite 4. I can't- I can't run- I, I can't- I can't run Protect on you, man. No, I can't. Do I need Earthquake? I need Earthquake. Alright, who else doesn't have Protect? Zerud? I'm never clicking Seed Bomb. I'm never clicking Seed Bomb. And Heatran is going to be a huge part, but I need all of this because he this is where Heatran finally gets played, by the way. Oh, I need Heatran to also have an air balloon. That's so important for this fight. So important for this fight. I almost sold so hard. So this is where Heatran finally sees play, right? So I'll I'll give you guys the breakdown. If it's the Aerodactyl team or the Garchomp team, either way, uh, I am going to be I am going to be clicking Triple Axle to frame one. If it's not Garchomp, then I don't take any damage. But if it's Garchomp, I take rough skin damage, and it's sad for me. Uh, then Melmetal most likely comes Help in or Primal Dialga. Either way, I'm scared. Streamer need our ELP. <sighs> If Melmetal comes in, uh, it should be going for either Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, or uh, a Double Iron Bash. I think it's either Thunder Punch or Double Iron Bash, really. It could be either, any of them. We go on into Gen C no matter what, and then we click Protect as it goes for EQ. Then on the next turn, it clicks EQ. We go on into Eruption. We have the Air Balloon. That's kind of the plan. We click Flamethrower in the sun because Gen C sets it, and we Oko the Melmetal through the Assault Vest, which is massive. That's it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. <sighs> okay. And then the rest of it, I mean, listen, the Iron Jugulus is so scary. I think we lose Heatran in this battle to the Jugulus, by the way. Wide Lens, I don't need, do I want Mental Herb for this? I don't want Mental Herb anymore in Garchomp. What do I want on Garchomp? Rocks are not gonna be up. We could actually go Focus Dash Garchomp. We could actually go Focus Dash Garchomp. Or King's Rock. Okay. Lefties, weak armor, protect a wing beat, light screen, thunderous kick, drizzle, still damp rock because when the drizzle comes, uh, I kind of needed to stay around for the Garchomp to, to really just start punching things in the face. <sighs> Drought, lefties, protect, um, and then air balloon, parental bond, that's it. Okay. That's it, that's what we got. 
guess we could go Mega Chomp. What is the stat difference on Mega Chomp to Chomp? But no, the speed, the speed I need. I need the speed, man. Right? If we go 85 and I'm adamant. Mega Chomp speed stays the same. No, I need to keep the Swift Swim. It's way too important. It's way too important. All right, this is it. Everyone say Oklahoma. <sighs> okay. I don't even know in this instance what team I want to see. I'm going to redo that save state because... Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. We're just going to be testing Feramosa anyway. It don't matter. Okay. Let's go. Take the walk, and Take the walk. Come on. Take the walk, buddy. Oh, man. Here we go. All right. Aerodactyl. That's fine. I take no Ruskin damage. I'm fine with this, obviously. I'm ruining the swords. There's pressure on the field. Triple Axel. Yo, Bean, thanks for becoming a member twice. And vital links for the eight months. Right. All right, Mel Metal comes in. A U turn. We do little chippies. And here we go into our defensive Jancy. Well, you know, he's a bulky Jancy. He has lefties. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Thankfully, this thing did not have fire punch. Double iron bash. We eat. Okay. It does actually weigh more than I want it to. I'm not going to lie. One on high jump kick. High jump kick's not a guaranteed Oko. That's why. Thank you for your help, though. I protect. I volt switch. On the earthquake, basically no damage. It's fine. And we go on into eruption. Eruption has the air balloon. I'm floating in the air. Earthquake. Work like a charm, baby. Get baited, nerd! Okay. Here we go. We flamethrower. You're gone. I don't even think I need the parental bond. Uh, it, it's in the sun. I'm a heat tram. Get out. Assault vest what? Assault vest what? All right. Z-Knight comes out. Uh, this is where my calcs got a little dicey and where we could lose the Heatran, I'm pretty sure. So, Heatran is floating. Parental Bond. Modest. Air Balloon, let's confirm that I'm modest. Timid, see I'm not smart. That's what it comes down to is that I'm not smart. This should have been modest. Whew, I think this should have been modest. All right, he either I think that he... Okay, let me just see. Let me just see. If I go Hidden Power Ice and go Flame Charge in the sun. Flame Charge is 8 to 10%. So let's put you at 92%. HP Ice then has an 87.1% chance to Oko. This is where I risk it. If I was modest, I think it's an Oko guaranteed, right? Modest, it's an Oko guaranteed. How did I miss that? How did I miss that, dude? You D dance? I knew you D danced! Jack, thank you for the nine months. I knew you D danced every time because you're arrogant, you're pathetic, and I hate your family name. Now I will flame charge. Crit. Crit somewhere. Bin roll. 8%. Okay. That might be 10, actually. We might be fine. All right, Heatran can to this heat eruption. You have been with us. Where do we meet you? Where do we meet you? 
You have been with us since Route 5! That's so early, dude! Aren't you in like a Pokeball? You're in an Ultra Ball. Okay, that's kind of late. Everyone cheer for Eruption. This is why we're packing him by rice. This is the exact reason. This is the exact reason. Oh, that looks close. Oh no, that looks close. Times four, times four, times four, times four. Yes! He ran! He ran and he conquered! <sighs> okay, we're good. We are so back. Dialga? I think the sun is gone, right? Okay, let's think Let's think about this through, think this through. <sighs> Dialga. There's no more sun. Which means a flamethrower is gonna do less than earth power, question mark? No, Earth Power does nothing. What is that about? Oh, because you don't go super effective damage against this thing. You just flamethrower for damage. Watch the burn. Watch the burn. Watch the burn. That's actually pathetic. I wish I was modest. I wish I was modest. Modest would have done 40 to 48. I'm so stupid. Okay. Now, what do we want to see? I literally don't know. This is where I start panicking. not bad at all. I mean, if I click light screen, so I could, so here's the thing. I think the correct thing to do, almost everyone on my team is physical. If we get sent out to anyone, I mean, Matthias might not be strong enough. I think I protect once. And that should burn a roar. There's a roar. Burn. That's two roars. Everyone count them. I think there's a total of eight roars. I could light screen to try to survive, which is like definitely not a bad idea. But I think we just thunderous kick and get the defense drop. Right? Thunderous kick and the defense drop. Right? Because now if we get roared into Pheromosa, Garchomp, maybe even Matthias. Iron Treads is a huge win. Hermosa, that's high jump kick every time. That's it, you're cooked. Minus one, I already calc that! Iron Jug. Now, this is not as smooth as you would think. Wait. Something's wrong here. I thought in my calcs that I wouldn't get the Oko, but this is saying I get the Oko. Jugulus did not buff special defense. Or, I mean, physical defense. It boosted special attack. I'm jolly, sort of ruined, wide lens. There's 105%. Everyone stare at this with me. He's got 235 speed. His special attack got buffed. Level 85. Triple Axle, 105. I'm Jolly. I don't really have any other option anyway, really. So. That looks so tiny. That looks larger. Yes! And what, it's just, it's just men's left, right? Did we just do Lance Deathless? I, uh, dude, in every situation, he trained died in this. He trained died in this. Minus one triple axle to a mega men's, does 120%. Now, nah, Brick already gifted his 50. Now I'm, I, now I'm like, but we're not done. Champion, champion, champion is, champion's different, trust me. Champion's where things go down. Look at this shiny, by the way. It's like portable. I kind of like, I think this is like one of the first times I like the other shiny. Please do enough. Okay. Yes! E4 Deathless! I like both shinies, but I, I'm just fond of, I'm fond of the original one, that's all. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Shady. Ilvi, 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 thank you so much for the nine months being a plot.
Magnum Penguin. Thank you, Bacon Jake with the five gifted. Can we clap for Bacon Jake being a man of his word? He said that we had a bet that for every E4 member I beat, he would get five. Dead Yancy with the 20 gifted celebrating your E4 arrival. Now listen, I don't want to jinx this at all. You know, I'm not going to talk about it. I will just say this much. There's only one team to prep for. There's only one team to prep for. It's no longer random. It is here. The champion also running a Feromosa. <sighs> Man. Psychonauts! Do this for you. With the 50 gifted. Aristotle thinks the eight months. Guys, claps your chat for Psychos. Fat bomb, my goodness. All right, here, our lead is simple. It's Zod, the baby. Raven Freak, thank you so much for the five. Nick, the thanks for the 10. Awesome. Rooting for you, Shady. Oh, thank you. Kick his butt. Yo, Buppetil? 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 Buppetil, thank you for the 10 gifted mem- Oh, Buppety! Buppety, thank you for the 10 gifted. Appreciate that a ton. Big Soul with another 10 gifted today. Big Soul, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Frick, shut your mouth. Frick, come on, dude. You literally, I mean, I'm not doing it deathless. I'm not, I'm, the champion is not, stop! Thank you, Brick, for the giant 50 gifted. Heward, welcome to the Shady People. Guys, please don't forget to thank your gifters. These are the Shady People. You are the Shady People. No matter what happens in this battle, thank you for this run. It's been a blast. It's been such a good time. I love Rad Red. I hope you guys aren't tired of it yet because I really like the idea of doing a solo soul link. A soul link. I think it's really cute. Um, and I want to try it. And it's probably stupid and impossible, but we'll see. <sighs> okay. We have to prep strong. We have to prep strong. We need dual wing beat. Oh my goodness. I'm trying. I am trying to prep, by the way. Ice Beast, thank you for the 10 gifted. That easy for the 20 gifted members. Come on. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so here we go. Oh, I already have dual wing beat. I'm throwing. Okay, so we have dual wing beat. We don't want light screen anymore. We want U-turn for sure. Yo, Corwin, thanks the for the 10 spot. Appreciate that. Look at him go. Here we go. We run U-turn for sure. We don't run protect. And uh, I think that's all you need. You turn over protect. We don't need light screen anymore. I think I run close combat. I think I run close combat. Yeah. We run close combat and we run thunderous kick. There's nothing else that's like cheeky that I can run on this Pokemon really. Get me wrong, I could run Tailwind. Tailwind's crazy cheeky. That's insane. Yo, Bottery, Bottery. Thank you for the 10 gifted. That is super kind of you. Thank you. Are there any Dodgers? <sighs> guys, of course, for this E4, please go ahead and leave a like on the stream. It's completely free if you're logged in. If you're not, I get it. I know a lot of you guys are just watching, unlogged into your YouTube app. Um, but if you're logged in and you can leave a like for those that aren't, that would be really cool because this is a uh, this has been one heck of a run, man. This has been one heck of a run. And I love that our team is so unique. All right, so that's our that's our Zapdos, but we need to run Choice Scarf. So the whole plan, Matt! Do this for you. Matt Finn with the 50 gifted. What? Three, four, five. Thank you so much, Matt, for the 50 gifted. That is insanely generous. Insanely generous. Are there any Dodgers? I haven't done it yet, by the way. We haven't won yet, by the way. <laughs> so, someone in chat said, like ratio is literally pathetic. Do better, people. That's amazing. Get owned. Um, we have Choice Scar. On the Feramosa lead, I'm clicking dual wing beat. I don't know. I think Feromosa switches out, but I'm not willing to risk it because this Feromosa destroys. I, it's the fastest thing on the team. I have a Feromosa in a lot of my calcs. If it, if it switches out, I don't know how I get Zapdos in for free without something dying. That's why I was saying like something has to die in this run because Feromosa just, yeah, it's a, the definition of a dagger. All right, Garchomp currently has the Focus Ash. There are no rocks in this fight. However, from my calcs, I'm pretty sure the best thing for me to run is Expert Belt, if I'm remembering last night correctly. 
We run the Expert Belt. Rock Slide, Earthquake, Dual Chop. I don't... I do keep SD, right? Rock Slide is for Eveltal. Earthquake is for Eternatus, Maridon, and Metagross. If we get the rain up, once again, Garchomp does so much work. Like, truthfully... Truthfully, if we get the rain up, Garchomp sweeps. As long as I can take one hit from something. Like, which I can take one hit from Maridon. As long as it hasn't Calm Minded. I can take one hit from Metagross. If Metagross is in, and we can get a clean switch into Garchomp with the rain up, I'm going for that. Usually in my, in my story, in like when I'm, when I was story building through the calculator, Matthias comes in on a Zen headbutt and brings Metagross low with a sucker punch. I almost forgot. With a sucker Champ punch? Not E4. Besides, I already did it. Oh, dude. Thank you, Brick. You really... Uh, thank you so... I'm just gonna say thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, thanks for becoming a Platinum Penguin. I appreciate that. So, I need Sucker Punch for the Metagross. I usually come in on a Zen Headbutt because Zen Headbutt will target the Zapdos or the Farabosa. Uh, Bullet Punch could also target Farabosa, though, for what it's worth. But we come in with Matthias. Matthias also has another job. If the Farabosa U-turns, then I'm hard... Matthias is the most sellable Mon because it gets the rain up. That's why I really think Matthias will go down. We have the Heatran here, and I'll be honest, I did all of my prep without Heatran in this battle. I did not expect Heatran to be here, so I do have to think a little bit. Um, Flamethrower is great against Metagross. Hidden Power Ice is fine. Uh, Earth Power is going to be good for the Maridon. Eveltal is annoying. I wonder if I go Assault Vest and use you for the Eveltal. I think I go Assault Vest on you. And that's a really good Eveltal answer. I have no idea when the AI will bring in the Ditto. I'll tell you what I think. This is what happened in my last run. Um, not the one, like not this one, the one on members only. I think the Ditto almost always comes in last because the AI looks at the stats of the Ditto and not the stats of the opposing trainer. That's what I think. So. Uh, after one flame charge, we do outspeed everything, which is really, really nice. Uh, and we get flame charge against Eternatus and then Earth Power. And that's a really, really solid answer. Um, let's see. Garchomp has Expert Belt. We have U-Turn, Choice Scarf. Drain Punch becomes Knock Off. I have in my notes. What am I knocking off? I could knock off the Avelt Hall Assault Vest. Wait, that's actually kind of cracked. Not necessarily your ditto came in fourth. Gotcha. Okay, well, I have no idea then. I really don't know. I was just going off of my base history. Uh, basing off of my history with the game. Am I clicking Drain Punch against anything? I'm not clicking Drain Punch against anything. I think I'm getting rid of Drain Punch and keeping uh, Protect. Yeah. And you turn. Okay. That's going to be good. All right, let's just make sure. Sucker Punch knock off. Iron Treads. Oh, yeah. Iron Treads is crazy. You guys are going to hate this. This is... So, with our abilities, we got pretty unlucky with these abilities, if I'm honest with you. Because I would love it if Treads did not have Trout. <laughs> but it did help our Heatran get to secure an Oko, so I guess it's fine. But we actually have to go Akaberry Treads here. 50 minutes Yo, Toxic Flyer, thank you the for the 10 sweep. spot. Hope the rest of the E4 is a silky smooth. I hope so too. Well, it has shady. been spoilers. Just, but just in case you the champion. Brock will embrace you to cheer you up and wipe away those tears. So, uh, my original plan was to have um, something. You know what? Bait a sludge sure. wave. Beat Champ Deathless for another fifty. Stop. How's that shit? Stop, Rick. You really don't have to do that. Seriously, thank you. I appreciate it. You're good. Um, no, obviously, Sword of Ruin Fair is crazy. It's so good. So here's the thing. In my calcs, we didn't have Heatran, so I was using Jensi against the Eternatus to come in on a Sludge Wave, click Rapid Spin, and then EQ. However, now that we have Heatran, I don't think we do that anymore. I think I just run Focus Sash Jensi. And I can stick to my some of my plan and use Matthias to bait the Sludge Wave, but then I go on to Heatran, which actually completely wins against Eternatus, right? It might force the Eternatus to switch out. 
I will match Brick's deathless bet. Oh. Alright. Now I'm getting... I know. Now I'm going to throw. Um... But then Rain is up. That is true. Rain would be up. But I don't need not Rain to take out the Eternities of Earth Power, right? Like, Earth Power from Heatran will, will do it. Let me see. Let me calc some Heatran moments. Do I have a Heatran calc? I do. Okay. Heatran uh, against Eternatus. Yeah, I literally do really well. Assault Vest. Oh, Earth Power doesn't... Okay, I actually can't flame And I as well. NC stop. I can't Earth Power against you. Well, it's, I can. I can. But two Meteor Beams does take me out. Right? Because you're going to go... Me Meteor Beam, go to plus one. Oh, then you can't do it again, though. That's true. That's so true. Okay, I think we do do that. The problem for me is that if I'm going Earth Power with um, Etern with, with Heatran, <sighs> something feels wrong about that. Something feels wrong. I don't know what it is. You know what? I'm gonna keep my old strat. It's gonna involve losing Pokemon, but I think I don't really see a way of doing Deathless here. Because if the rain is up, my flame charge does less, which is fine, but then my flamethrower does less against everything else, which is really bad. Like against the Evelt Ball, it's not gonna be good. I'm gonna be locked into Hidden Power Ice, which is unfortunate. Yeah, two meteors would take three turns, that's what I realized. Um I think I stick to my original plan and we just use Heatran as an emergency. Because I I I, I really don't see by the way, there's so much that can go wrong in this fight. Uh if Evelt All crits ever or gets turn and one sleep on like bro. Garchomp, we lose. You have my bow. That's amazing. Royal, thanks for the five. Brick, thanks for the two. Okay. No, because I'm running Assault Vest. I can't run Protect. I may not be able to do 50 gifties, but you get another five hey, from Suvi, me. Hey, Suvi, thank you. You really don't have to My do that. Thank you, thank you. W I think we're going to do... I think we're going to stick to our original plan. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Mailman, thanks for the 10. Best case scenario, Thermosa stays in turn one for some reason. I don't know why it ever would, but for some reason, if it stays in turn one. Choice Scarf, Expert Belt, Wide Lens, Damp Rock, Akaberry, Assault Vest. I think Assault Vest does definitely make the most sense. It helps us, like, let me see what damage Eveltal does to me when I have Assault Vest. Wishing you luck yeah, from I can, the best like, I can get I can get some damage off on you. Just some, which is fine. Thank you, Jack. Come on, Thank you for the 1912. Thank you. Shadow Chatter, thanks for the 10 spot. All right. I can't change natures in this. I'm going in. Oh, baby! One last time, Oklahoma! On end. Just stay in. Just stay in for no reason. Ah! Ah! Chris, thanks for the 20 spot. Caprice Eternatus here. comes in. Get your Caprices here. Help us, God watchers, penguins alike. You are about to witness the literal run. Do you okay. understand? So, on a Thursday afternoon. It literally is a Thursday afternoon. That's crazy. Eternatus goes for Dynamax Cannon or Meteor Beam. Either the way, the Beard is that has to win this. I think I actually. What's your damage? Flame Charge won't put you in Earth Power range. Um, we could Matthias and stick to my original plan, which is Matthias and Yen Jensi. If Eruption was dead all the time, this is just a, this is just an extra Pokemon for me, right? You Dynamax Cannon, I resist that. I eat it. I actually eat it. Alright, 
I really want to flame charge here, but I think I'm just supposed to earth power. Oh no, I threw. Oh no, I threw. I should have flame charged. He turned to speed off coming out. Am I faster than you? Oh, I think it's, I think it's over. You're disgusting for that. You are so gross for getting a great sucker punch. I'm going back to my old strat. It's a little late, but I'm going back to my old strat. I could have read the Sucker Punch gone to the Paramos and that's so risky, but I could have done it. I literally could have done it. <sighs> You're going Oblivion Win. If I can just get Garchomp in, how much does Eveltal do to Garchomp with Oblivion Win? Oblivion Wing does 45, Darkhold does 75, so it's a 2 a KO. Okay, you just 2 a KO. I wonder if I'm supposed to just ban this thing. No, never. Okay. I think we actually want to heat train here. Get chomping for free. I think so. I mean, I I I know I have the sack now. I know I've sack. But now I think the whole battle relies on Garchomp. Honestly. All right, I have to help, um triple Axel. Oh my gosh, triple Axel does nothing to you, Eveltal. Why are you so bulky? I survived. Okay, Eveltal can go for Dark Hole here, so I have to go ahead. He sucker punches, but he could have went for Dark Hole. It, it, it's the same amount of damage. Sorry, Heatran. Oh, seven's in chat for Heatran. All right, here we have to get pretty lucky. I either need, I need one of two things. Rock Slide Flinch or No Sleep. I'll take either one. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, dude. Okay. Sucker Punch is 33 to 39%. I'm at 35. I'm just out of range. Ah, I have to just stay in and hope he doesn't, hope he doesn't get the high run. Sucker's not a guaranteed kill. Because if he goes Oblivion Wing, which does guarantee kill, and I go into Faramosa, I lose the whole run. If I lose Garchomp, how do I win the rest of the fight? You know what? I think because I have... Yes! Yes! Get out! You piece of bacon! I don't think I won shot because I never got the chance to SD.
come on. It's a very low chance to one shot. <sighs> I have to take it. Double chance to crit. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it with that. Meteor Mash takes me out. Bullet Punch does not take me out. Who's left on your team? Um, you have Maridon. You still have Eternatus. Oh man, you might be cooked, dude. Alright, let's go into Zod. And click U turn. Okay. So Gen C does really good against Maridon. And he turned this. I don't know if I owe Kyle though. Oh no. Um, this is such an important turn. I go into Matthias. I'm pretty sure I beat the Eternatus in. Eternatus has taken some damage. Oh, I wanted to switch that in. We could also just go out of the Psychonaut, get a free U-turn, but this is, it's not guaranteed. Matthias. It should be Eternatus. It's Maridon. I don't like that at all for me or my family name. Genuinely bad for my family name. Um, Maridon. Okay. You are going to Calm Mind. Unfortunately, somehow Triple Axel does not take you out, which is insane. Okay. But I think Iron Treads does. The Triple Axel is 60 to 72% to Maraid on. And he's gonna have lefties. All right, so I did calc this. I definitely survived a plus one um, HP fire. Uh, the only thing I do wanna calc here is does Zapdos take you out with close combat? Because that would be ideal. Close combat. I don't think he will, though. Maraidon. on. No, it's not close. Okay, we gotta go to the 4.1k people here for the 
4.1 run. That's crazy, Nick. Oh, Thank you. Alright, I think. I have to count. Iron Treads. 85. Akaberry. Droughts. Maridon. Plus one, the 70 to 80 percent. Um, how much does Earthquake do? Mm. All right, my best play is the Rapid Spin. How much does Rapid Spin do? Let's do more than lefties. It's more than lefties. Okay, that's all that matters. Calm minds again. This guy's a psychopath. This guy is a freak. This guy is a, an absolute psychopath, dude. He is in EQ range right now. He is in EQ range right now. I could live a plus, plus two HP fire. I literally could. I don't need to, though. Come on. Jensi. Jensi. Jensi! And we have an Eternatus that should be coming out? Or, or a Ditto, either way. We have our Akaberry. We are fast. My EQ might even take you out from this range. Oh, treads. I'm awkward. I'm awkward on a Thursday afternoon. No B word, 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 no B word. Hey, hey, no B word. That's a crack! That's actually a little problematic for me. A little tiny bit, a little tiny bit problematic. <sighs> I volt switch so that the ditto doesn't wait. Who would I want the ditto to copy? I want the ditto to copy Matthias because it's my worst Pokemon. Well, it's not, I don't mean that disrespectfully. But I don't want him to get a plus one treads and he's scarfed. Go on into Matthias. Ditto wouldn't copy the burn, but thank you for your help, Oracle. I don't, want, I don't want to count my chickens, but my chickens are screaming inside of their eggs. They are screaming inside of their eggs. Imposter me, father. For the win. Scout. Let's scout. Let's scout it out. Knock off. You're so pathetic, dude. You're so pathetic. Oh my gosh. You're the champion? Not anymore! Not for much longer, man! Oh, dude. Get out! Let's go, baby! Let's go! No, that can't be! Yes, it can! Yes, it can! Why? Why did I lose? I thought I was going to be saying that today. Lumps of clay with the 20 gifted. I thought that was going to come from my mouth. Psychonaut, it wasn't deathless. Oh my gosh, dude. On our third one, 4.1 has been defeated. Thank you so much for being here. What a stream, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna really need to be able to track this. Oh, I think I, I think I could I think I figure it out. I think I can figure it out. The chat is completely broken. The chat is completely broken. Yo, Trilu, thank you so much for the five. I'm just scrolling. I want to make sure I get these names for the for the list. Instigator, thank you for the ten. I'm just gonna keep the cheat on repeat. Gates, thanks for the ten months. Samurai, two, thanks for the ten spot. Steven Royal, thank you so much for the 10. Bro, the chat is literally broken. Let's YouTube, get it together. Shady. Get it together. I can't even I can't even see the chat move. Guys, we beat 4.1. Brick with the what 20 gifted. Yo, happy birthday. Feels birthday, man. Thank you for the birthday gift of letting me beat Radical Red. Mando Dono before returning oh. to work. R.I.P. Veal. Yo, good Garchomp. Garchomp Jamie, literally carry. Darth, thank you for the five. Appreciate it. Go, go, Power Ranger with the ten. I literally have never seen the chat like this, guys. Seriously, I know you can't see me. Thank you for your support.
This has been such a fun run. 4.1 is incredible. Zany, thank you for the 10. Doing this for you. Thank you so much. If there's anyone that I missed, I am so sorry. Uh, chat is just literally broken. True Lou, thank you for the two months. Appreciate that. Oh, you gotta leave a like on the stream for that. So Garchomp was just incredible. I had to take you off the layout. We did it with four Pokemon left. Pheromosa, Garchomp, in the range. Shiny Gyarados! Was that 15? Preter, thank you so much for the, for the gift. It was five. Thank you, Preter, for the vibe. Appreciate that a ton. Insane. Scott, thanks for the five. That's the dad being a dude right there. <laughs> what a win. Man. That was just, uh, the four hours of prep Epic was so win. worth it. Congrats, Shady. The four hours Knew of prep you was could so do worth this feeling. We celebrating with the crazy and unskillful Thank win. you, please. Fire, Thank you. Fire, fire, So much fire coming out of Brian's mouth. Oh, for once I didn't throw, man. For once I did not throw. All right. That's it. We are the champion. What? Why is the music so intense? They scared me, man. Uh, why is the music still so intense? Yo, Monkey81! With the 20 gifted monkey, thank you so much. I appreciate that a ton. Doruk, thank you for the five. Appreciate that a ton as well. Thank you so much. Man. Insane. You can beat this without Blissey. You can. You definitely can. Uh, it has been done. I've beaten this game without Blissey, which is really cool to see. Really, really crazy. We have 7,500 members. That is actually insane. Pity, thanks for the gifted. Appreciate it a ton. There's the six that brought us home, baby. Time for a share. There's the, the six that brought us home. Link slash J. Four legendaries, a pseudo, and an iron treads, baby. Hanging out with the beasts. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Man, zero fairy type too. That is insane. Ugh. That was no dex nav. No fairy, no blissey. Not by choice with the fairy, by the way. That was just what happened. Thought Professor was gonna um, throw our hands. Yo, thank you, Toga. I really thought he was too, I'm not gonna lie. I really thought he was gonna throw hands. But that's it, man. Uh, we beat Radical Red 4.1. I think what we'll do is we will take a short break from Rad Red on our streams, because everyone wants me to check out Poké Rogue. And I would love to check out Poké Rogue as well. But I will tell you this. I feel like we'll have a week or two of Poké Rogue at most. Yo! Riku, thank you for the 10 spot. I appreciate it a ton, which will coincide perfectly because we're going to be doing other roguelikes as members only series. Um, so it'll kind of work out perfectly because there's literally so many new members just from today. And then um, we'll probably do the Soul Link with Rad Red. Because I think it'd be a lot of fun to have two games going at once and trying to balance that would be such a headache. And I want that headache in my life. And every loss will feel so painful. It'll feel so painful. So I think it'll be fun to do that. Um, and that's it for me, man. That's it. You guys are, I, I cannot say thank you enough. Like I'm gonna pull up this daily board and it's gonna blow your mind. I cannot say thank you enough for all the support you guys give me, seriously. I, I'm I am extremely grateful this is what I get to do every day. We got Brick, Bricked up at 120. Psychonaut at 100. Matt Finn at 50. Ted Yancey at 40. Dylan at 35. That easy, Lumps of Clay, Try Big Pokemon, Soul, Bacon, Jake, Prime. and Monkey at 20. And there were so many more. Major Dan, thanks for the six months. Eric, Brick, thank you guys. The Super Chats. Um, absolutely insane we will be live tomorrow I know, i'm not going to cut the week short of streams we'll be live tomorrow we'll probably start pokey rogue tomorrow uh, i gotta look into it if it's like a do i download it like I've, i don't know i, I have been avoiding pokey rogue purposely so i can have my genuine reaction on stream with you guys so i will go ahead and uh I'll, I'll, I'll get that set up for us tomorrow morning that's it for me though thank you guys for everything i really appreciate it it's a web browser game what oh i'm locked in that brings you back to Naruto Arena. I'm locked in. Guys, seriously, thank you so much for everything. Uh, today's been awesome. This, I think we started this run like a week and a half ago, right? We probably have eight streams of this with this thumbnail, and that's it. So we are done. Um, Faramosa was such a good catch late game. We got that pretty late, and she carried. She carried super hard. That's going to be it. If you want to pick up some Dad's merch, uh, you can go ahead and go to Dad's Being Dude's YouTube channel. Check out the links. Check out the shelf. Check out the store. We got merch going for the next three weeks. I think it is maybe two and a half now. I'm not really sure. Um, but it does support me and Dylan when you do pick up that stuff, and I appreciate it a ton. I don't know what I'm boxing at. Keep it shady. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, there's a video going live.
right now. Uh, so go on the channel and refresh. Get there, okay? I love you.